Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with fractions. And specifically, we're going to work with making our own fraction strips. So our learning goal for today says, I can partition a whole into equal parts and identify and count unit fractions by folding fraction strips. So again, we're going to take those long strips of paper. We're going to fold them into equal parts, which is partitioning. And then we're going to count how many parts that we have to find um, like our fractional unit. And then we'll just count what makes up one part of our fraction. All right, so the materials that you'll need are four sheets of paper, so just regular paper just like this, and you'll also need a pair of scissors. Okay, so make sure you grab those things um, before you move on to the next part of the lesson. All right, so we're gonna get ready to make our fraction strips. We're actually not gonna be dividing anything. This is where we're just going to be folding our papers and cutting our papers. So the first step is take your paper and lay it in front of you like it's a hot dog, and you're going to fold your pa paper in half long ways, okay? So like hot dog fold. So you'll have two pieces of paper or a fold that would look like this, okay? Then you're gonna fold the other three pieces of paper the same way, okay? So you're it, pause the video, fold all four of your pieces of paper in half the hot dog way, okay? So you have longer strips of paper. You don't have to cut anything yet, just fold. So pause, fold all four, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, now the next step is we're going to open each piece of paper and cut along the fold. So you have your fold, take your scissors and go whoop, straight across, and you should end up with two strips of paper for each one. Okay, so you're gonna pause the video, cut all four sheets of paper along the fold right down the middle. You should end up with eight smaller sheets of paper when you finish. Okay, so pause the video, cut along each one of the folded lines for all four pieces of paper, and then click play when you're ready for the next step with your eight sheets of paper. All right, friends. So here we have our two sheets of paper. We're gonna take one strip and fold it to make halves. So let's get rid of all of these. Okay, take one of the strips and we're gonna fold it to make a half, okay? So here we have a little bit more space. So just fold it in half um, from here. So you would end up folding it just like this. Okay, so pause the video, fold so you have two equal parts like this. We don't wanna fold it the hot dog way. This time we kinda of wanna fold it um, the hamburger way for this way, okay? Because we wanna end up not long skinny pieces. We're looking for two um, rectangles straight across like this picture, okay? So just one strip of paper, fold it in half like this. Okay, pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. Okay, next step, here we go. So how many equal parts do you have in this hole? Yeah, we have two parts. What fraction of the hole is one part? One half. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line to show where you folded your paper. Write the name of the fraction on each equal part. So you're gonna draw a line just like I have that black line down the middle. Now you're actually gonna draw that on your fold and then you're gonna label each part as one half. Okay, so pause the video, draw your line and label your two parts and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, good job with that one. So yours should look just like mine, okay? All right, so there are how many equal parts in all? Two. One equal part is called one half. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's take another strip, strip of paper. We're gonna fold it to make halves and then fold it in half again. So fold it the same way you just did for the last one, except for now you're gonna fold it in half one more time the same way until your paper looks like this. Okay, so you're gonna have those number of equal parts. So pause the video, fold in half, and then in half one more time, and then you'll have what looks like mine. Okay, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends. So how many equal parts do you have in the hole? Yeah, we have four. What fraction of the hole is one part? 
one fourth. You got it. Okay, so now we're going to draw lines to show where you folded your paper, just like we did with the last one. And you're going to write the name of each fraction on each equal part. So one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and draw your lines and write your fractions, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so there are how many equal parts in all? Four. And one equal part is called? One fourth, you got it. All right, so let's look at our next strip. We're gonna take another strip, fold it in halves, and then fold it in halves again, and then fold that half in half. <laughs> Seems kind of crazy, but it'll end up looking just like this. So fold it in half one time, fold that half in half again, and then fold that one in half a third time. So you're really kind of folding it in half three times. Okay, so pause the video. Do that, and then click play when yours looks like mine, and you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so how many equal parts do we have in this whole? Eight. What fraction of the whole is one part? One eighth, you got it. And you're gonna draw your lines to show where you folded the paper and write the name of the fraction in or on each equal part. So pause the video, draw your lines, write your fraction in, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so there are how many equal parts in all? Eight. One equal part is called? One eighth. All right, good job, friends. All right, so now we're gonna take another strip and we're gonna fold it into three equal parts. This one can be a little bit tricky to fold into three equal parts, so just do the best that you can so it's about three, or the three parts are about the same. Okay, just do the best you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so you have three equal parts, and then go ahead and um, pause the video and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time, otherwise make sure yours looks like mine. And let's look at how many equal parts do you have in the whole? Yeah, we have three, good job. So what fraction of the whole is one part? One third, you got it. Okay, so you're gonna draw your lines where you folded the paper and write the name of the fraction on each equal part. So just like this, pause the video, go ahead and do this step, and then click play when you're ready for the next one. All right, friends, so there are how many equal parts in all? Three. One equal part is called? One third, you got it. Okay, so now take your other strip of paper and we're gonna fold it into six equal parts. Remember, this is not gonna be perfect, it's okay. Fold it just like you did for your third and then fold each one of those third pieces in half. Okay, so it would look like this. Okay, so pause the video, fold until you have the fraction, until um, you have your parts to be six equal parts or the best and closest that you can, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so how many equal parts do you have in the whole? Six. What fraction of the whole is one part? One sixth, you got it. Okay, so now you're gonna draw lines on the folded part and you're gonna write the name of the fraction on each equal part. So pause the video, go ahead and write those in and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, yours should look like mine. And how many equal parts are in all? Six. And one equal part is called? One sixth, awesome. All right, friends, look at that delicious pasta that I'm having. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a look at your fraction strips and answer some questions. 
So here's your fraction strips. Um, you also have them in front of you that you can look at. So imagine there are four pieces of delicious pasta. Which strip best shows how to cut one piece of pasta into equal parts with your fork? So how can I cut one piece of pasta into four equal parts? Yeah, that would be one fourth. Okay, so four equal parts, one fourth each. Okay, so imagine they are lengths of ribbon now. Which strip best shows how to divide the ribbon into three equal parts? Yeah, my thirds, right? My one that's split into thirds. Okay, oh, chocolate now. Imagine they are candy bars. Which best shows how to share your candy bar fairly with one person? So you're sharing with one other person. Ah, yeah, halves, right? Okay. Which best shows how to share your candy bar fairly with three people? Yeah, so one third. So we would share that in thirds again. All right, so bravo. You guys did an awesome job partitioning a whole into equal parts and identifying those unit fractions with our fraction strips. So please heck, head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.